been quite the week in reports. A lot of things have happened and still, some are still happening. Even today, Black Friday. Can't stop it. But to sports lovers, uh, I think it's it's. Idio going, but joined on set. Have a couple of analysts on your talk on and Idio could break down each and everything that has been going down. Nikona Davis. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Katikati, I have Edgar Edgar Bire, and in my. Apart to na Mimi, I have Shafi Zene. Yes, Shafi Zene. So, to get down on the things that have been happening this week, now, to those people who loved, uh, okay, to those people who didn't like Unai Emery, well, I guess it's, it's been the, quite the week, like it's, it's today, huh? No, 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 it's a very good day. But to those who really, really, really loved Unai Emery, well, I guess it's, it's, it's a Black Friday for them as usual. To get on the news, uh, Unai Emery's Black Friday has turned out to be darker than ever. Arsenal chief announced the, the Unai Emery sacking today morning. The decision to end his tenure as Arsenal coach and make him uh, his assistant, Freddie Lumbag, as the interim boss, was announced today in the morning. The series, this is after a series of six draws and last night's defeat. Arsenal have gone nine, uh, seven games. To this point without a win. The last time this form was seen in Arsenal was way back in the 90s. Now this is something that caused an upset and a lot of fans called for Nai Emery sacking and it finally happened this morning as the chief announced the end of his tenure. Now guys, well I, I guess to some extent most of you saw this coming, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Especially after the rumors that Gwadaz Nalakwa flaunted throughout the week that uh, there are high chances that Nai Emery at Avutokazi yeah. uh, if he loses the next game. But who do you, who, who eh? Yeah, Eddie Angalia, uh, Fanyika Kwanza, ni my fans, while my fans are Arsenal, and when I'm wanna pressurize Sana, at a in a board, I quam Kuze Kazi, but I could put his image here, Europe, Alikuan and Gojele, Norwich, Kosabo, and Kuan and Gojele, EPL, then you are uh, Timulio. Like it's a saving as you come home, or in particular, a quicker take a coach. Yule Lumbag, yeah. um, but I was doing a uh, Roberto Perez. Yeah, Nilia and Nilkona Soma is a story. Sorry. And the one thing that was actually constant was the fact that when go, they were to give him until January for them, for him to prove to the Arsenal board that he's capable for the job. But let, let, let's just come to it. Uh, who did you think, like, Nini Muli believe uh, Muli Nakama Lumbag in the other party or interim Ama Muli Kiria Arsenal Watandika coach Mungine? Because Pochettino name was looking at me when I mentioned left, right, and center. Yeah, Pochettino was talking about Pochettino. Pochettino seriously was being mentioned to take up the job, but he was a coach who was a coach who was a coach in the interim. He was a coach who was a coach in Manchester United. He was a coach who was a coach weekend he was a coach in Norwich. He was a coach who was a coach. Personal kicho. Personal kicho. Well, Joel, uh, uh, there's, there's something actually. Okay. Well, it's one thing that we have Unai Unai Kazi. And it's another thing with Freddie Lumbag. But do you think that the decision was justified? Like, not just firing Unai, but putting Freddie Lumbag as the head coach of Arsenal? Okay, personally, I'm not saying that Kuna Station is a way to you up, of course. At the end of the day, Arsenal fighting spirit in Asia for the last like one month. Okay. The all of November, Kuna game of Machina. So to me, I thought Kuna Lady played yesterday. It's not about the manager. If players have players against the manager, there's no fighting spirit, there's no commitment, there's nothing that the players are giving unto the team. I love Pia fans. Pressure fans, they were fine. At the end of the day, coach Kuna sacked because they. The management I could quite ready to foot out. That's why he's so confused on who to take over. But personally, I'll not advocate that he fed a shikile in the meantime. I think when we let another manager, there are two good managers who are not on work. So is it Kuna Maximiliano Allegri and Kuna Pochettino? Those are good managers, but Kuna high chances for that Kuna Nuno Espirito Santo's or. Well, it's worse. But P.A. is it a Kuna another gamble? Because at the end of the day, we can't really. Ukiangalia their, let me say their CV. Unaya kuna better CV than than most of them apart from Allegri. Unaya kuna better CV. I'm in Europe. I'm a I'm a coach PSG. But but let's talk about that for a second. Just for a second before we go to the next story. Unai unasema unaya kuna a better record. Now when I was looking at Unai's record, and this is the most specific part of the record that I actually focused on. People just keep on looking at what he did in PSG, but people don't really focus on what he did in Sevilla because in Sevilla, yes, he did win three times consecutive the European Europa League. But there's one thing that people really miss to check. In his final season, Kwa Sevilla. 
he really lost a lot of games. In fact, to be I think he only won two away games the entire season. Mm -hmm. Unai Emery akona akona msimu mbaya yani akona ni akona vipako vibaya sana katika mechi za away. Umeuliza swali kuhusu Lumbag kupata ile nafasi. Angalia Lumbag wani ilikuwa Arsenal walikuwa mteue kati ya, ya Mourinho ama yule ambaye ni kocha wa Spain sasa hivi. Lakini ilishindikana ndio ndio maana hata najua board ilipata ile mshtuko baada ya Mourinho kwenda Tottenham na yule kocha ambaye alikuwa Enrique kwenda kule Spain. Sasa Bode yuko tayari kujua kama Pochettino atakuja pale ama yule anaitwa Juju Nuno huyo Nuno yeah. atujui kama atakuja kwa sababu bado yuko na ile Kandarasi na Wolves na bado ni katikati ya msimu sidhani kama Arsenal na nani Arsenal kufikia pale kwa Lumberg sawa kwa sasa kwa sasa Naam so okay so let's wait and see if it all turns let out like that on something you okay. know like mostly like for Jose Mourinho going to Spurs kuna kwa na secondary reason na primary reason of appointment mm -hmm. the primary reason ya Jose Mourinho going to Spurs according to Danny Levy is that Spurs when you make it's a big team yeah. kuna kwa Munda stadium pia na there kuna a very big squad and Jose Mourinho is a big brand we can like appointment ya Jose Mourinho to Spurs or to Manchester United it trade more than even Cristiano going to Juventus so the main reason Malichkwa Jose is to build the Tottenham name into mm -hmm. the uh, household names in so many, so many let me say worldwide. So Jose Mourinho primary reason ya kwenda Spurs, ayiku kwa to win a trophy, to win games, is to build Spurs name to be a big team. Mm -hmm. Well, as to Arsenal, they already have the big name, so it's just a question if the coach is big enough for the team. Well, Freddie Lumbag was once an Arsenal player, so he knows the legacy that was left by Arsene Wenger. Hopefully, he will continue it at his best, but at the moment, he's just an interim coach. Let's just see what he can do with the opportunity, given the chance. But uh, as to my opinion, well, I think uh, firing Unai Emery is just the first step in fixing Arsenal's problems. Let's just see what they can do more as Kwendeleo Kenyo Meanzisha. All in all, all the best for Arsenal, and we wish them all the best in their future endeavors. Now, moving on to the, another, to the next story, Elliot Kipchoge. Yes, Elliot Kipchoge, male athlete of the year. After winning the male athlete of the year, Kipchoge is now set for an honorary degree. World marathon record holder, Elliot Kipchoge is the 2019 World Male Athlete of the Year. Olympic marathon champion and world marathon record holder will next week add another feather in his cup. On Wednesday, Laikipia University said it will confer an honorary doctor of science and to degree to Kipchoge <laughs> during his seventh graduation ceremony. Just days after being named 2019 World Athletics of the Year, the 35-year-old runner will now go to an honorary doctoral degree. I keep saying degree so many times, I hope he may get to Kipchoge and not put a degree. <laughs> First thing, <laughs> <laughs> First thing, congratulations to Kipchoge, Elid, uh, Kwamba, Sasa hivi umu wako umekuwa wake. Masuma umu wako ni wangu. Kwanzea januari anapata tuzo mpaka disemba. In, Inafrasha ina sana kama mchezaji ama kama, kama any, any athlete kupata matuzo left, right and center. Angalia kipchoge kwanza nilivyo kuambia siku ya kwanza kwamba yule Kipchoge ana discipline alafu ile kazi yake anaipenda sana alafu mazoezi Kipchoge atumia hizi madawa mengine wasema mihadarati vijana sio yes. Kipchoge atumia mihadarati eh, ana discipline alafu anapenda kazi yake na training perfect congratulations Kipchoge so we all agree that Kipchoge ana deserve Kenya na kupata ana deserve ana deserve uh, so actually, very soon tutakuwa tunamuita professor <laughs> <laughs> Tekuwa ngumu, Profesor Kipchoge. Kipchoge ni mkimbiaji ambaye ametuweka sisi kama Kenya katika world map. Vivo Basi, congratulations to him. Congratulations to him. Joel, we agree on that one. Uh, me, I don't, I don't agree because, <laughs> <'cause laughs> <laughs> me, let me say, being called a professor, you have to have done something like a research or coming up with an idea or something. But he too, nikupewa, like a name. So, so, alikam, alikam, alikam na formula kushikia kuku ya kushinda Guinness Book of Records. I am like I'm not familiar with Kimbi. 142, 150. Was it 42? 42 kilometers. 42 kilometers in, 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 in one hour. Yes, under two hours. So, so, so that is like to to be made a professor. Yeah. Well, 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 we agree, but Guinness we agree. Sio ra yisi, sio ra yisi. Ata wazungu alikuwa sema sio ra yisi binadamu kukimbi under two hours. Lakini kipchoge akafanya kweli akakimbi under two hours. Namanisha yeye ni professor bwan. I don't dispute your achievement at Kipchoge this, this year, but the fact that an apatoyo doctorate is like, it's not adding up to me. Miki tutuna jiuleza ni kwanini yu ilikuwa tui, lazima tui ilikuwa, yani kwanini ilikuwa tui ni laikipia university. 
I'm just saying, like, when you think about it in a higher perspective, I mean, when you look at the, 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 the most recognized universities in Nairobi, why do I keep it? Keep you. Very interesting. Anyway, uh, all the best to keep jogging. Uh, me, uh, I'm, 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 I'm well. I'm well happy with it. Me, I'm okay if he gets the, the degree, and and I think he has. I has done enough to actually achieve it to be called the male athlete of the year. It's it's, it's really not easy because there are so many athletes out here. So for you to be the male athlete of the year, all the best to you. All the best to you. Now, our Rambi stylists have been and the coach have been nominated for the CAF Awards. Despite the challenges, uh, challenging year and mainly occasioned by lack of government funding, Arambe Starlets went on to win the Sakafa Women Championships, beating Tanzania 2 0. And now it turns out Starlets and their coach David Omar earned nomination for the Women National Team and Coach of the Year awards, respectively, from the Confederation of Africa on Sunday. I mean, I was happy, I was to the moon and back because maybe I have seen the struggle that these people have gone through. Like, mm -hmm. they never let it show. Like, throughout the day, they never let it show. I mean, Arthur Luka just evicted from this, the, the Olympics mm -hmm. and direct to the Olympics when I to come to the Olympics. So, you would expect, you would expect, like, mentality, but they just carried on. Yeah, and Pia. Ile waku waku wacha ile misongo ya kukosa pesa ama ile ile shirikisho kukosa kupatia pesa iwa iwa hound lakini wakajituma sana kukujia wakafunga 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 bila kukonsidi ba wata moja katika sekafa women's challenge ya yeah, yeah, i think ni record ya yeah, yeah, zani kama ok kwa sekafa i think ya ni record 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 sindi ya 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 Lakini pia nataka wale we, wakina wanyama, wakina ulunga, wajifunze mengi kutoka na hawa, wakina dada. Kwa mba, despite kuna shida nyingi, ama kuna challenges mingi, lazima tukue na uli uzalendo ndani mwetu. Lazima tucheze kama mbao tuna taifa ya zaidi ya watu, zaidi ya watu 47 milioni. Well, in, in uh, related developments, uh, Tanzania's hitman uh, Mbwana Samata, alongside with Pierre Emerick Aboumeyang and Mo Salah Sadio Mane and Rayad Mares, and nomination for the African Player of the Year award. Now, kwa ama player wanine nye let me repeat. Mbwana Samata, Pierre Emerick Aboumeyang, Mo Salah Sadio Mane and Mares. Nani ana, ni nani muna feel ana deserve hii more than the other? Red Mares. Mares ana deserve? <laughs> Nam. Okay, mimi ni nataka kujua kwa nini ana Mares ana deserve? Ah uh, Mares hii head ali, speech. Ali. Wonderful. <laughs> 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 Ma, Mares alibeba team ya Algeria katika kombe la AFCON. Tuta, tuta hapa tutaangalia sana sana katika kombe la AFCON. Mm -hmm. Tusije tukaangalia michuano ya ligi kuu nchini Uingereza. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mares was the captain and he carried the team. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mares, yeah, Mares, Mares ana deserve. Sasa hii ni mwanza kuona nini relationship yako. Joe Lo na nani ana deserve? I think between Salah na na mane one of them will win because of winning Champions, Champions League, League and kukua top scorer in EPL is not a joke ok kwanza mimi Mares uh -huh. alisaidia yile eh, wala nasema kwanza kwani kuna wangine tuna tatu na tatu kazi hapana kabisa kabisa <laughs> okay, kwa sir. kwanza ni Mares uh -huh. wapili atakuja sala ama samata njua samata pia amekua msimu mzuri amepiga amepiga bao vidi ya Liverpool ndasema Mares na deserve kwa sababu ya Afcon amebeba Algeria kutoka chini eh, kwenye makundi hadi finali wakampiga Senegal well, well, in my regards, I mean, I feel Mahrez actually seriously deserves it because he actually won the Premier League and still went on to carry his team to win the African Cup of Nations. That's to, that's representing both the club and uh, the national team. Too. Yeah. So, you know, like, we're going to if Salah, not if Manu and win African African Cup, then you're going to say, I'm going to be a contender and a Ballon d'Or. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, that's a very... Uh, that, that shows you achievement in your money in your so. Excellent. But you see, the, po the point is Waliweka if. And I want you all to focus on that Waliweka if. Anyway, all in all, <laughs> let's discuss the International Champions League. Okay, International Champions League did <laughs> happen this week and a lot did go down. But I actually wanted to mainly focus on some on, on a few teams in regards to qualifications. Now, first thing that I can focus on is Liverpool. Do you guys see Liverpool qualifying as the number one for group stages? I can see as number one, as qualifying two to, to the next round because now it is 50 50. Because remember, Salzburg played at Anfield, yeah. it is a 4 3. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm going head to head up with yeah. head to head, and it is a whole cost to Wow. So, you know, it's a high chance. Well, uh, the, the results are there. Okay, Bayern Munich, Juventus, Manchester City, Paris Saint Germain, Real Madrid, Tottenham, Barcelona, and RB Leipzig. Now, when you look at the games that Zilifanyika this week, Lokomotiv Moscow and Bayern Munich will talk 2 0, uh, Bayern winning. Was it 2 0 really? 
Bayern. I could have sworn it was it was like five like six. Five five or like Real Madrid Real Madrid and PSG were in the two two. Man City and Shakhtar Donetsk were in the one one. Kandreva and Bayern. Oh yes, Bayern Munich was six nil. So that's Bayern Leverkusen two nil versus Lokomotiv Moscow. Zenit Saint Petersburg. Now Lyon were Zenit were in the two nil. That was that was impressive. Actually, I didn't see that one coming because Lyon were confirmed. And then Barcelona and Barcelona and Borussia Dortmund. This one this one was the interesting one. Borussia Sajuni Kwanini. They always have a problem with Kenya Gakuki in Madrid. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, despite that, it has been worse, the, uh, the worst month for Borussia just as much as Arsenal. Because uh, Borussia won a final because they didn't have to win a final. Right now, as we stand, we're number five for Tebuli, we are league, I think. Yeah. They're number five, right? Uh, <laughs> like the thing last weekend, playing the last team in their table, we're going three nil. And then he got one. Coach, 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 Liverpool will shinda kwa Liverpool na sai Liverpool ndo mwacha so ah enye Liverpool if you can win if you can qualify anga anga watu wengine ambao watakuja Europa ni Chelsea <laughs> okay, but me not a Liverpool or qualify. So attack your Europa seeing that one as a category. I think I think for Chelsea, Chelsea they only need a draw. They only need a draw to qualify. So yeah. me, but Chelsea need to qualify. No, so that is and Lil and Lil Lil number two size. So Lil Lil number last. Lil number last. Lil number last. So we're going to go point more. So no, no Lil. We're going to go and be a mutu. No, Chelsea need a draw. We need a draw. Galatasaray versus Club Bruges 1-1, Tottenham versus Olympiacos 4-2, 4-2, 4-2 Mourinho, this game was going to be 2-0 2-0, 2-0 Mourinho was going to be 2-0 Mourinho was going to be 2-0 I was impressed, Juventus versus Atletico Madrid while Bila Ronaldo Itu si orang ini. Itu si orang ini. Ibal, Paulo. Lakini Ronaldo mukam semua. Atlanta versus Dynamo Zagreb, two nil. Valencia versus Chelsea, two two. Here ni another one. Ilikuwa interesting. Salve versus Pra versus Inter Milan. Inter Milan. I mean, me, me, me. Lukaku. Yes, let's focus on Lukaku. I think kana jaribu kusend a message, and the message is very clear. Lukaku, wherever you are, we are receiving it. Sisi kama maasili wa Manchester yu But still, Lukaku anajaribuku Anajaribuku show Waleguna Waleguna that he was good for the job They just needed to actually understand it better For him to do his work Because mani alitoka siyeti alikuwa na underperform Alikuwa na perform And it was still in the same league But still alikuwa wata Manchester United Dizo season bill za alikuwa bado yenda alikuwa top Bado yenda alikuwa top Despite the fact that Manchester United wana drag yenda alikuwa top So as what was him laumus indio Ile assist Kana assist kali baba. Out of foot. Jenk na Brug. Red Bull na Jenk walitoka 4-1. And then Leipzig na Benfica. 2-2. Iyo pili kwa interesting. Nili angani ilikuwa ni game ya mbio. I mean, those guys were not interesting. Nili kwa ni... That was like watching a game with Borussia Dortmund. Ile Ozil awezi. Ozil aneza vitu mingi sana. Situ wa jalini ni Ozil awezi. But still, okay, let's 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 discuss chances. Okay, or oh, Juventus now that could qualify. Did you know chances that could qualify is called realistic? Yeah. Uh, Tottenham. Tottenham. Tottenham already qualified. Wow, shall qualify. Ah, yeah. uh, let's go to Chelsea. Chelsea, they need a draw to go they through. To go through. So through. technically, at the moment, teams in Europe should qualify to Bayern Munich, Munich, Juventus, Manchester City. And then we have Paris Saint Germain and Real Madrid, Tottenham, Barcelona, and RB Leipzig. I don't know the message. She's saying get tired. So the rest in Kongoja. Well, I hope this is England vote. Akuna yeta kujia Europa, because wata tuenda kanga kio kama. Mimi sana sana hivyo kuli goes to Europa. Hivyo kuli no, five one. But all in all, and then before we actually to 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 nebali, kuna the reason there's a reason why unai Emre live to kazi jana. But this is not just unai Emre. You know, there's throughout the week there are two teams that is mkuazi kio kuchoa ata to kazi, and those two teams were one nil ahead yesterday for the games to be overturned, and then waka end up waki chapa two one. One of them is Arsenal. Yes, we all know that now. Their dreams have come true. Unaimri and Vtokazi. For the most fans, I don't know for the rest. Wengine pia nikuwa sikia wala kuna taka unai endele. But another thing that was really wishing Kochua Vtokazi but bali jafanyika is Manchester United. Now, Manchester United at the moment... I think Masaibu za Manchester na za Arsenal zina ambatana. Frankfurt, 10 points. Frankfurt, 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 Fr
Frankfurt ndio imekuja England imefuta kocha so ndio hizi za ndio hizi za Europa and uh, Sevilla uh, wako okay Sevilla washa qualify mm -hmm. Sevilla have already qualify hata Manchester United uh, group B uh, akuna team yenye qualify bado it's still Manchester. open mm -hmm. in fact yeah, it's so Europa. open that the three mm -hmm. kuna three teams that bado zinaweza kaingia and then group C uh, Basel wamebaki they only need two points to qualify so if Actually the only hey body co open 9910 okay this one is very much open e game yeah. e group body co open no one has yet qualified uh, group D group D ndina ka interesting okay group D Sporting Lisbon washa qualify and um, number 2 one i need only okay actually body body kuna they can both go in but goal differences in a make a big difference because no na PSV and Rosvena wako na nini a better nini a better goal difference than me but you atangalia head to head you mm -hmm. atangalia head to head pia uh, group J kuna okay okay kuna Arsenal and then Arsenal Arsenal only need a draw to qualify actually yeah, yeah. quite group yeah they only mm. need a draw because for standard league to qualify they need to beat Arsenal 4-0 mm. because wakiangalia head to head Arsenal will chapa 3-0 so they need four goals to actually uh, outdo Arsenal waki meet the next time Rangers bado the qualify this group is very much open Espanyol okay, group H uh, Espanyol washa qualify washa qualify yeah washa qualify uh, Ludgoret bado na nini bado pia ja qualify so bado hapo kuna chance ya timu moja kuingia and then group I bado iko open but uh, the way i see it these two teams can actually go in okay this one is ser seriously open bado hii bado kuna njia yeah na but e group yao uh, iko open iko very much open yeah. so kwa, i think europe is really difficult because most teams have actually not qualified in fact the team tapas mo qualify there as if he kata tano zingi zishe ingia tayari mm -hmm. and then there's wolves wolves wako api yes wolves wolves will show qualify wolves when i need yeah will show qualify, qualify. Oh, yeah, will show wolves will show qualify braga wame qualify manchester united wame qualify uh is it almag akmar pia qualify so that one i can open anymore yeah, yeah, yeah. so manchester united game yao next despite kunyoroshwa jana game yao next but see that important they are yeah. they are already in so what akwa na fight yetu qualify kama number 1 i believe uh, yeah. because if they lose the next game na nini shinde then wana qualify kama number 2 and i don't think anyone anataka qualify kama number 2 because number 2 in a mix teams from champions, champions league, league now eh hey. and as you ni ko sure this one in and to work hata kama uko na ile 10 sai enda work Arsenal next year la game ya Standard League wata na sema Standard League watapiga watapiga Standard League magoli matatu kombo of well kama ni gambler Standard League ndio kupigwa Arsenal so stay tuned to that hiyo hiyo na hiyo na kama kama true story real movie i'm telling you so please pay attention to that one it's really 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 coming uh to to uh, but here's one thing i actually do agree about the week in in, in regards to sport uh vitu mingi hazikuenda venye watu walipangia and nowadays it's becoming even harder to gamble because easy team as it is even you as you expect yeah. game ya paris saint germain and real madrid ni in the ilikuwa the shocking one of them all because mimi yenyewe nilikuwa ni mwana venye real wameshashinda hiyo <laughs> only for <laughs> only for things to change at the end of the nini that was really something anyway it's been a fine week in the name of sports and we hope to see you all next week as we bring you more of what will be happening throughout the week well that's of course next week to come and throughout the weekend we are come tomorrow uh, there are premier league games that are to be played we will be checking it during part of your time to check them out unfortunately i'm out of time uh, in in the set nimekuwa joined with uh, Bra uh, david joel david <laughs> And God, we're all in the fixtures. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for giving me that short time. Now, Newcastle United will be facing Man City on early kickoff. Burnley versus Crystal Palace, Tottenham versus Bournemouth, Norwich versus Arsenal. That was oh, no, that was on Sunday. Now, Liverpool yeah. versus Brighton, Chelsea versus West Ham. That's a very entertaining match. You should go check that. That's a London knockoff. Mm -hmm. And then there's Southampton versus Watford. We have on Sunday Norwich versus Arsenal, the Wolves versus Sheffield United, Leicester versus Everton. That's, that's another. Yeah. And then Manchester United versus Aston Villa. Guys, you you can and then okay, yes, to go to Portugal back KPL. KPL we do have Madara United walicheza jana na Kakamega Home. Oh, you ni leo. Nimecheza leo. Yes, Kakamega Home boys wameshinda 1-0. 3-1, 3-1. And then we have Sony Sugar versus Posta Rangers in the cancelled because wali relegatiwa. Sony wali relegatiwa. And then we have Zoya Sugar tomorrow versus AFC Leopard. Hiyo ni aingwe. Hiyo hii game wame wameanza vita zile kwa katika social media. Kaangalia post ya Chingwe. Facebook, 
kuwa na dis so ni nzo ya sugar nzo ya sugar imekuja ka reply pale tena kim dis is uh, f slippers kwa hivyo kwa wenye wanaendaga kwa twitter tok go see that uh, kot kenyans on twitter tasca versus bandari you ni no that one's on sunday now tomorrow we still have wazito versus chemil and sugar kario bangi sharks versus kcb gormaya versus ulizi that's another entertaining one that's gormaya will win and then we have on sunday we have tasca versus bandari and then we have zuke richo okay wame ni tolewa raka we still have the table now at the moment gormaya are leading on the table mm -hmm. with 15 points and the nine games so wakona two games in hand now at lead with 15 points wow well, no actually 24 points, yeah. points. 24 points and the team number 2 ni Tasca no amewachana wow this is really hey. impressive 21 na 20 i think i think okay there's a high chance that Gormayon is a shield at this season so let's just hope <laughs> I, am, I am very very right <laughs> <laughs> all in all uh Koseta was joined by Joel Davis uh Edgar Bire and uh, Shafi Zene i am your host Edio Goe and see you all next week when we bring you more sports from us to you it's bye bye Imagine.